Anderson, thank you very much. Now take a look at this op-ed in the Washington Times. Quote, Biden's vaccine mandate will devastate businesses. Senator Mike Braun wrote that and he joins me now. Senator, thanks for coming and appreciate it. President Biden, by the way, is getting killed in the courts uh, three times this week alone. Last week, a couple of courts ruled against the mandates, but he keeps pushing ahead anyway. What are you guys in the Senate uh, going to do about that to try to stop him from defying the courts? So they generally listen to polling. Two thirds of Democrats think it's a terrible idea that you define getting a vaccine. If you don't get it, you'll lose your job. I mean, that's crazy. And the courts, thank goodness, have weighed in. I'm leading the charge on the Congressional Review Act, which is the only formal way we can put every senator and representative on record, are you for that madness or not? We'll probably get that vote next week. He keeps digging the hole deeper, and all I can say is that he's listening maybe to Rahm Emanuel too well. Take these crises and run with them yeah. and come up with these crazy ideas. I keep tuned in to Main Street. There was more angst, more worry about after navigating through all of this COVID stuff that a lot of it put businesses in peril due to bureaucrats making decisions. Now at the tail end of it, either get this vaccine or lose your job. That could have cost many businesses up to 50% of their payroll after we've been paying them to stay with their employer. Well, and Absolute Senator, it's not, just, it's not just the concerns of those who are going to lose their job because of the mandates. It's the people around them, particularly if they're health care workers, if they're police, if they're firemen. I mean, the whole communities are being put at risk. We have over 8,000 health care workers that have left their jobs in the state of New York because of the mandates here. So, I mean, this this is a, this could become a public health emergency in order to fix a public health emergency. It's, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all because you've already short staffed. <laughs> Workforce was a big issue pre-COVID and they've done almost everything by incentivizing people to stay on the federal dole all along the navigation. And almost every decision, including supply chain, it's you know manifested itself in inflation. Uh, gas is as high as it's ever been. Uh, food, the whole gamut. I mean, every decision, when you look at pre-COVID, where we were, yeah. the best economy in my memory, I was in it for so many years, it was working the old fashioned way. Now we're trying to replace the real economy with government decisions and bureaucrats. Look at the mess it's made. The vaccine mandate in the sense that you either get it or you lose your job is just piling on, digging the hole deeper. Yeah. They seem to not realize what they're doing. And Senator, uh, it, it could get a lot worse with the BBB plan. Uh, you think of all the things, not just the expense of it, and that's bad enough. It could be up to five trillion dollars, uh, according to the Wharton School. Uh, but but all of the other stuff that's in there as well, uh, the the expansion, supersizing the IRS, et cetera, um, is is Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema the the only two in the Senate who could really vote against it and kill the bill? Are they do they have the spine to stand up against the the winds inside the Democratic Party? I hope they do. Joe Manchin has been uh, really out there publicly on the spending side of it, Sinema on the revenue side of it. All this is phony numbers to begin with. I mean, when I got here, David, we were 18 trillion in debt. Now we're 30, and they're going to pile another. We were with uh, Penn Wharton yesterday and another taxpayer group. When these programs get started, they never get sunsetted. They they keep going, right. and it is closer to 2.8 trillion. And we're going to borrow it from our kids and grandkids. The Democrats don't care about that. I debated Bernie Sanders on the floor about that modern monetary theory. Yeah. It's it just taking what was a great economy, things were working, trying to federalize everything, make the government the centerpiece of our lives. Right. Uh, not going to work. All right. Uh, and, and we have to run, Senator. But what's your best guess? Is, is the bill going to pass? Yes or no? Uh, I think that they put so much political capital into it. It could get delayed. I think sooner or later, they're going to placate uh, cinema and mansion, and mm -hmm. we'll see something come across the finish line. Wow. Just a question of when, sadly. Uh, Senator Braun, thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it. You bet.